Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week for the week starting Monday the 12th of December. Last week we were looking for longs in uh, the price of Brent crude but quite frankly we got completely wrong because this market was pretty much on the back foot the entire week. I was hoping to see this essentially form a bottom for a rebound back up towards a sort of 98s kind of area um, but we just sold off continuously over the course of the week um, so you know got this one completely wrong. It's, it's caught me off guard. I mean, look, ultimately, we're looking at that China re reopening story. But as we've seen now, um, the chances are that we're going to see a big spike in terms of cases anyway on off that reopening uh, in China. And therefore, we're back to square one. So that the idea that we could see a, a prolonged reopening and that this is the end of the, the COVID story in China, I think is a uh, probably the wrong wrong way to be looking at it at the moment so certainly fears are growing around about the potential for further lockdowns as we see covid cases continue to rise over in china in terms of sterling yen bear in mind we've still got this one open as well so we've seen a pullback recently we we're looking for longs we saw a rebound into resistance as we turned lower we we're talking about this likely being a retracement well that looks to be right as well so we can see here uh, the move into the 76.4 fib so that held up at the 100 day sma and the 76.4 and now we're starting to turn higher once again a move through 169.01 gives us greater confidence completes that double bottom formation and points towards that push higher so happy to keep that trade open and then i wanted to look for the week ahead at the s p 500 we have got a potential turnaround coming into play here for this market now Bear in mind on the weekly time frame, we've got this big trend line resistance coming into play and we've now seen that big bearish engulfing candlestick formation play out. So I am aware of the fact that we could see a near term pop and certainly the fact that we've got this near term support at 3903 in play here does highlight the fact that we've got uh, continued uh, higher lows, although arguably we've now got flat lining lows, but it certainly could raise the possibility of a move into resistance around about sort of 40 30 kind of area uh, before we roll over and certainly greater confidence of a short would come with a move through 3903 but nonetheless i'm going to be looking for a short for this market placing my stop loss above this swing high but also above this 76.4 fib level so i'll put it at 71.45 let me just lock that in here there we go um and then towards the downside let's just keep this open for the time being and see exactly where we go but yeah i think there's a good chance that we are seeing this market top out here whilst we could see over the near term a little bit of a move higher i think soon enough we'd see a breakthrough 3903 and i think this will likely resolve with a topping pattern for us to see this market head lower once again so looking to go short the s p 500 with a stop loss at 41.45